this makeup. So yesterday's video, I did the unboxing and kind of the haul mixed in one. And I brought up the Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. But I felt like I kind of ripped you guys off a little bit. Like, I didn't do a swatch. And I didn't do the get ready with me. So today is swatch. I did, however, pre-do my little swatches. If you watched my video from yesterday from the Kat Von D, my Vida Loca, you will know that I had some issues. Anywho, if you did not watch my video, it is the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay collaboration. Um, I will link the uh, site down below if I can find it that I watched of why she chose these colors, how she chose them, the collaboration, and she does have a lipstick line coming up. Um, we got the little samples in with the palette when you get it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's the new buzz all around. Everybody's really into it. It's a beautiful 3D color type thing. I'm also wearing the Gwen Stefani today. I don't know how this will look. I went a little bold little dark because these shades are very nude and with my skin tone I don't know how easy it's going to be for you guys to even see some of the colors on the swatch but work with me work with me anyways since I said anywho a lot in my videos when I rewatched it anywho I don't know anywho <laughs> okay so first can you see it is way up here. There is a white shade. This one, well, it's not white. It's almost white. It's blonde. It is a matte color. It is one of the first ones out of the 15 that she does have. I will show you after. This is Bathwater. It is a satin, creamy color. It blended really well. It was very, very pretty. Then next is Skimp. It is a slight tan color. It also is a matte. Very, very, very pretty. Then you can get into... Oh, this one's so pretty. I wish it would show up better. How do we get this? Nope. Okay. Well... Wow. That light, this light... Oh, well. But it is a very, very pretty color. I would say it's like a rose gold maybe with a little coral like if they had a baby it is very pretty it also is a shimmer shade very very gorgeous below it is a rustic red it is not brown how it kind of looks in the camera here it is a rustic red it is punk punk is very very pretty i like that one i used it um next it would be the beginning of the second row this is Baby. It is a very, very pretty color. I really wish it showed up better. No? Ooh. Boo! Camera! Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Anaheim. This is a matte brown. It is very, very pretty. Also, I used that today. Then we have Stark. It is back into the light tan matte, but it is so buttery. It's such a buttery color, just like the one right above it, Anaheim. When you put them on, they are so pigmented. You don't need a lot. They're not chalky. Um, I was concerned because there were so many light colors. If everything was just going to be matte or everything was just going to be satin, but there are satin, shimmer, there's matte, there's even glitter. Um, I really wasn't too disappointed just in two of them, but I will get to them and I will let you know which ones they are. So far, I like them all. I'm a neutral girl anyways. It's my everyday look, and I think that's what the audience she was trying to go for. She does, um, in her next couple lines, will go for, um, just like all the other lines do, the pop colors, the pink shades, um, the smoky, and then the mix. So she will do her version of all of those, just like everybody else. She's following along. Anyways, next was this brown, and this one is Zone. Very buttery, very creamy. It was such an easy color to blend, and if you wanted to build it up, you can. This is just a one-time sweep across, um, but I did put it, it's very buttery. Like I said, one sweep wasn't just a little, ooh, it touched it. I mean, it really was, whoop. I love this one. That's one of my favorites. That is Zone again. Next is Sirius. It is a um, dark, smoky, gray color. 
Um, it has a little metallic into it. I'm not very impressed. As you can see, if I go like this, it's pretty pigmented, but like it, it does not blend well. Where you set your finger or the brush or the sponge, make sure that's where you want it, okay? Use small amounts and work your way up if you feel comfortable. Otherwise, it would be good in the crease or along your lash line, waterline, or the top, whichever, and just do it very thin with like the eyebrow or the eyeliner pen, uh, brush. I think it would be very pretty. I really do. Okay, next is the bottom line. So I went back up to the top of the hand. Let's see if you can see this. It is invisible. Damn, let me just, I'm, I'm going to try to get this. I'm just, let's do this, Nene. Come on now. We can get this. Pop is very pretty. It is a champagne pretty color. It is very, very, very shimmer very shimmer let's see it is so pretty look at that maybe that's how i should do my swatches from now on but i think you want to see how it looks not caked into a fingerprint but on the skin but maybe with this oh there we go can you you can see that right here and my fingers hovering over it next to this blue there we go okay you get the point Next, I am going to go re-go over this swatch because this is one of the ones I bumped as I was moving my computer around. Okay, I'm not hurting or flipping nobody off. This is the pink Harajuku. Also, very, very Barbie pink. Everybody loves Barbie. It's very, very pretty. It's one of the few colors that um, she did put into this palette, so I do like it. Um, Next is Danger. It's dangerous. It's um one of the glitter shades, just like how the Sirius was. It is blue. Very pretty in the palette to look at. I love blue. Blue was one of my first shadows I ever wore. I did say that the other day. But um this is very, very dark. So be careful. That's what I will say. I did use just a teeny bit today. Just do, 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 do because I was scared. <laughs> it did not blend well, and like I said, it was just like the danger when you put your brush or sponge or whatever you're using, your finger down, make sure it's where you want it to be. Anyways, this is it. It is um, one sweep, so that's why it's a little faded. You can build it up and make it blue. If you put it on with like a um, eye crayon or with one of the gels, you could make this as dark as you really wanted it. I mean, it is very pretty on the finger, don't get me wrong. I love blue, but it's, yeah, I don't, I don't care for it. I don't care it on my hand. So when I put it on my eye, I had to be careful. It did not blend very well. Um, I did use just a small amount because I was, like I said, a little nervous. Anywho. Ooh, get this off me, girl. Okay, next, I will refix the swatch that I do have already. As you can see, this is the 1987. It is a gold color. When you look at it in the next to the blue and the black that it's next to, it kind of gives off a limey green color. Um, but it is very, very pretty. There it is on my finger again. Here it is on my hand. Oh, come on, here we go. I like it. I like gold. I'm a gold natural color. If I'm not going for it, my pop color is blue. But if I'm not there, I'm a natural. I'm a gold. I'm a taupe. Um, I'm getting into the rusty reds and the orange, especially as a transition color. Um, shout out to Danielle Ray. I've been watching you, girl. I watch you. I want to buy what you want to get. Like, you have it. It's in your favorites. It's in your empties. I want it. I'm the girl who's going out at the store thinking I need these things at 1 in the morning. Girl. Anyways. Next is Blackout. Blackout is black. It is a matte. Um, it is also like the danger and um, just like the serious. Be careful where you put your little brush sponge. Um, it is very, very pigmented. This is a one 
watch down and I didn't load up my finger. I'm not going to show you because I wiped it off already. But I did not load it up and, excuse me, and it is, now the blue looks kind of pretty on that way. Anyways, I did wipe that off, so, okay. Anyway, let's do that color. It is um, a little chalky. It is not easy to blend. Like, I'm pressing hard right now. And Anyways, not one of my favorites of them, but I know that there's so much more to come. It is so beautiful. It says magic in the makeup when you look in the mirror. This is not to blind you. Um, very, very pretty colors. They are. This is how I show them. I went across the top, crossed, second row, and then down here at the bottom ending this one. Um, yeah, I, I really like it. Like I said, I put it on today. Rachel. Rachel. Can you guess what colors I used? I used um, this as my eyeshadow base. I went right in for the brown. Instead of building up, I went right on in. And then um, put this up into my crease. I did dabble on my lash line with this one. And then for my brow bow, I put in, what did I put in? I mixed two. I put in um, Baby and Steady. I had fun playing with them. I'm going to play some more. I even thought of doing something with that blue. I love blue. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to. I love it. Thank you for coming to Nay Nay Love Makeup. I have fun doing these. It gets me something to look forward to every day. I watch the videos. I follow them. I follow. I really do. Um, yeah, so my next video is going to be my subscription box unboxing. It's one of my first ones that I've gotten. Um, first one I am taping, though. So hopefully.